thousands are still struggling to try and secure a decent job. Thousands of Zambians, both from private and government sector, have commemorated Labor Day. The proposed extension of the retirement age from the initial 55 to 65 still remains a subject of debate. Republican President Michael Sutter, who officiated at this year's Labor Day, calls on employers to ensure that the plight of the workers remains a core business of the operations. And the way you say what you see, you don't see it for government. And by the way, stop talking about the way you see. Go and test me. The pronouncement, which was made by Finance Minister Alexander Chikwanta during his presentation of the national budget in Parliament, has raised debates as the Labour movement describe it as an abrogation of the Labour laws. As it stands, government workers still live in dilemma as they do not know whether or not their salaries will be increased this year. The extension for the collective agreement for the year 2013 expired on Thursday. April 2014. The next step remains unclear as Zambia Congress of Trade Union President Leonard Hikomba discloses that negotiations are still ongoing. Uh, the law uh, doesn't have any punitive measures against those who flout these labor laws. So the revision uh, and the sanctions coming along with them would have been a good deterrent. Uh, against abuse of uh, workers. Today is 1st May and you have not concluded the negotiations for better conditions. Well, uh, well I, I think uh, um, uh, negotiations are going on. We can't curtail that process. Uh, we hope it will be concluded. It is a notorious fact that Zambian workers work hard to develop this country, yet have to be paid mega salaries. Worse off, they have to struggle to be paid on a monthly basis. Mwapek Mwenda, Movie TV News, Lusaka.